So why write a letter to Santa when you can just email him? Many websites that offer that service, but uh, how trustworthy are they? Also, what you need to know about chimney sweeps. To talk about all of this, we are joined by Steve Burners from the Redder Business Bureau, our buddy here, Santa frauds. <laughs> Santa frauds. Emails to Santa, but how trustworthy are these things? They're trustworthy. We've got to find yeah. out the company. There's about 60 websites now we've recently created on mm -hmm. Santa related. So we're telling parents to be watch out for you know, sites that are asking for too much information mm -hmm. on, for children. Obviously, because they don't need the address of the child. So there's some things you don't need in personal information. Parents really need to scrutinize the websites before allowing their children to go on these websites. Let's take a look at some of those tips if we have them for you. So we'll go down them. Because you're talking about, first of all, uh, children don't need to give a lot of information to Santa because Santa knows, knows, her. knows where they live. He knows where the right. chimney is, so mm -hmm. there's no need to give any information. Other than the first name and the email address, right. that's sufficient enough. Other than that, what are the people doing with that particular information? And you got to know what's really in those sites, too, as exactly. well. Exactly. you got to look at the sites, see what kind of links are in there, where mm -hmm. they're going from that site. And some sites are selling things, too. Oh. So you got to be very careful where they're actually going to another third-party site as well. And are they retaining this information? You want to read the privacy policy, too, because you want to know if they're taking this child's information or selling it to somebody wow. else. Or in worst case scenario, is they're using it as identity theft. So you got to be very careful. And they actually target the kids. They target the anybody on the Internet, really. It's actually sometimes it's easier to target a kid for identity theft because they have no credit yet. So wow. there's no errors on their credit yet or no markings on their credit. So they can, you know, try to, to get the kids' information. The best advice on this is just tell kids, don't email Santa. You can email Santa, but be careful. Have the parents go to the website first. There okay. are legitimate sites out there, but mm -hmm. just go to the sites and let the parents look at it, make sure to review the privacy policy, and only give the first name and email address, and you'll be fine. I gotcha, gotcha. Something else we need to talk about this time of year, chimney sweeps. There's a scam on everything. There's a scam right. on everything. Tell, tell me about chimney sweeps. Well, people don't think about chimneys. They'd be cleaned. Obviously, every uh -huh. year you should have it inspected at least. And about half of the homeowners across America don't have it inspected. Mm -hmm. And every two, three years, depending on how much you use it, you should have it cleaned out by a professional. Unfortunately, these are door-to-door -door people or telemarketers will call you and say, for 35 bucks, I'll, I'll clean it and look at it. Well, you can't do it for $35. Okay. It's a low ball trying to get you into, into charging you more. They'll come over and they'll look at the chimney saying it's cracked. You need a new ah, liner, we'll something else too. and okay. it ends up being three or four thousand dollars as well. And they're saying they're imminent danger, your chimney may fall, or things of that nature. You've got to find a reputable chimney person. Obviously, you can do that through the Better Business Bureau. Go mm -hmm. to the Better Business Bureau website and get a listing of, of, uh, of uh, you know. Companies that you can trust. Usually, the cost is what you say about a hundred to two hundred. One hundred fifty to two hundred dollars for mm -hmm. a, a sweep itself. Seventy-five dollars for an inspection as well. When you come in a real low inspection fee, they you basically know, just want to get in your house to see what to they see. can, what else they can exactly. do. Exactly. Right? And if there's something wrong, they can prove it to you. Take a picture of it. Uh -huh. and that's what usually happens. Is they won't do it. Oh no, you know they start changing their story. Take a picture because you want two or three different estimates. Right. So you want somebody else to show you the damage as well. So just don't go with the first person and be very careful that anybody comes your door to door and make sure they got some insurance too, makes their insurance well. liability insurance is key importance and check yeah. just because they say they have it how many mm -hmm. times we hear from consumers that didn't check and they right. found out they didn't have insurance and they really needed it all chimney sweeps <laughs> are not like dick van dyke chim chimney right. chim 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 right. <laughs> all right steve thank you very much sir as, as always my friend you. uh you can find all the information on a link to the better business bureau at abc7chicago.com you can also send your questions to steve through our facebook page and he will answer them for you right directly